Vince Vallis, a massive wildfire around the oil sands hub of Fort McMurray, Alberta, moved toward energy production facilities on Tuesday, extending a shutdown that has led to lost Canadian output of 1 million barrels a day. The fire jumped a critical firebreak area where plants and trees had been removed to stop its spread late Monday, moving north of Fort McMurray into oil sand camp areas. Some 4,000 workers were evacuated in the heavily forested northern part of the province. Gun control blaze covered 704,000 acres, and officials said Monday the fire was moving 98 to 131 feet per minute. Um, I think it's uh, it's fair to say that there are there are hot spots that that are being uh, very uh, closely monitored by firefighting uh, uh, staff and 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 by first responders. But there are no uh, fires currently uh, in in place in Fort McMurray, and as everyone keeps identifying and it's important to remember that that uh, the upside to when the city is threatened and then firefighters succeed in pushing back the fire is that more uh, burn guard is put in place and so more and more uh, is burning outside and uh, uh, where, where the more that's burned around the edges of Fort McMurray the more secure it becomes so at this point uh, it's just a matter of planning for safe re-entry uh, and, a, and a, a considered and thoughtful approach to to getting services uh, uh, back up and and when you're start turning on a switch and starting a, a, a city of 90,000 people when uh, you know th sometimes stuff happens and that's why officials have been reinforcing and we are reinforcing that we're not going to have people going back until we know it's safe. Uh, push towards the highway into the Athabasca River. Yeah, we, we, had to, we were fortunate to have some cooler weather last week, but we haven't seen significant rain in this area for over two months. So we, we always know, have known that this is an extreme wildfire uh, that we have to deal with in extreme fire environments. That being said, resource-wise, uh, we continue to pour firefighters in here when safe to do so. Uh, we have firefighters from across Canada and I think pretty much from every single province. Uh, we continue to get great support from our municipal partners throughout the province uh, on the structural side and as well throughout Canada on the wildfire side. And as the Premier noted, we also have uh, agreements as well that we have our international agreements and our international partners have reached out to us. Uh, when we need to bring those folks in, we will. Uh, we've already cycled a bunch of our firefighters and crew out uh, with fresh folks, so we have a bunch of fresh uh, firefighters in there now as we speak. Uh, the Suncor site and the fact that the Suncor site, as you can see, that doesn't have vegetation on it. Well, the, the facilities have been all evacuated safely yesterday. If we lose 665 bed spaces, then it can be rebuilt. The, uh, the, the key is, is that people were all safely evacuated yesterday. They are all empty. Uh, and it's just facility. So right now our focus is on, uh, again, always public safety, uh, critical infrastructure in terms of uh, Suncor. And as, uh, as Chad has mentioned, obviously, uh, Parsons. The Canadian federal government has full confidence in the ability of Alberta to fight a resurgent wildfire in the oil sands region and has not received any additional requests for help. For the very latest, stay with BNONews.com and follow us throughout the day at BNO News on Twitter for breaking news updates.